Hello everybody, welcome back to Lily Lulu. If you're new here, my name's Karen, I'm the Junk Journal Geek and a warm welcome to you all this sunny-ish <laughs> morning here in um, the south of England. So today I'm back working on the Journal Monthly. This is a sort of craft along hosted by um, Claire at Purple Poppy. Every week we are working um, on a journal. Her videos go up every Friday and I'll leave a link to her channel in the comments below. Um, so far we've made the cover. We have made, do you know what? I'm having one of those days. I can't remember what else we made. <laughs> I can't remember what we did last week. But this week we're going to make collared book page pockets. So I've got various different book pages here. Um, this is the pages left from, or some of the pages left from the Lord of the Rings from when I was making my um, Lord of the Rings journal. I've got some uh, French dictionary page. I've got some uh, book page from a sailing book and I've got some music page. So we're going to make a start and have a go. These are very simple, which is just as well because um, I've had a, I'm having one of those days, as I say, and I've had a bit of a taxing week. Nothing major's happened, just, you know, you just have those weeks. So, um, as I say, I'll link Claire's video in the description below so that you can watch how she did this. Now, um, obviously, your pockets are going to be different sizes depending on the size of your book page. And um, we are turning the book page upside down to start with, so that when we fold the front up, it's up the right way. And I don't think I've got ca my camera in quite the right place, so I have to remember to go up here a bit. Um, and then what Claire did was she just tore down the middle um, and then she turned each side out to make a little sort of collar shape. Very simple. So it ends up like that, like a collar. And then you can turn this over and just trim your edges or you can leave them on if you like the way that looks. And then she decorated them. And mine were a bit wonky. That side's up higher than that side, but it's a junk journal. Got to learn to let it go, Karen. So then um, Claire got different bits of lace and had, you know, little bits of lace on her collar under here. Um, I'm just going to, you know, use the bits and pieces I've got to hand for all these. That's the whole idea of this journal this year is to just, you know, use up what I've got and stop overthinking things. So she had lace um along the edges of her collar. And all the time she was making, what else did she use? She did a brooch. Um, I can't remember what else she used now. I've been asleep since I watched the video. <laughs> um, but all the time she was making these little pockets, I'm gonna make a few, well, let's stick this one down so you can see how it looks. So you just pop some glue on the edge of your collar pieces so that they are held in place. And then a little bit of glue up each side. And there's your pocket, very, very simple. Now, um, as I was saying, book pages are all different. They're different sizes. So depending on your book page, your pocket's gonna come out different sizes. You can fold this differently. You can cut the thing deeper. You can fold the collars in fancier ways. Um, some book pages are very thin and others are thick, like this dictionary page is very, very thin. So I may well, if I use these, stick two pages together just to give it a bit of strength. So um, you need to sort of think about that and obviously where you're going to use your pocket. Is it going to be a floating pocket? If it's, Is it going to be stuck down? If it's going to be stuck down, you can get away with it being a little bit thinner. But if it's going to be a floating pocket, you know, you want it to withstand a bit of wear and tear and movement. So um, you might want to think about 
doubling up the pages, as I say, if your book page is very um, thin. And then what you can do here, you could have this as a little mini tuck spot for something. Um, if you've only glued down these edges. And the other thing I thought while Claire was doing these was they would look brilliant with buttons. I've got some buttons here. And all the time Claire was making them, I was thinking oh, they'd look great with buttons because they're collars. They look like shirts. They'd look great with little buttons down there. And then right at the end of Claire's video, she put buttons on, but she used paper buttons. So they're a bit different. So I think that looks really cute. It really does look like a shirt. And obviously, if you ink the edges, it's going to be a bit more obvious. So I'm going to make um, a couple more with these different papers. And then we'll have a look at decorating them. I didn't grab my bag of buttons while I was there. Now this paper is nice and thick, um, so that will work well. But I've got this great big white edge. I don't think I want that. I want it to sort of look the same both sides. So I'm going to take a little bit off of this edge. Obviously, this is your own preference. You. Do, you do what you want to do. If you're happy with the white edge, then leave it there. There's no rules, it's a junk journal. So let's tear about, oh, it would help if I could see the bottom as well, wouldn't it? So I can get a straightish line. So how are you all today? I hope you're all well. I'm recording this on Saturday. <laughs> I think it's Saturday. Um, and it started off, it's still very, very cold here, and it started off really grey and dull. But the sun's trying to come out now. Um, it won't be out for long because it'll be starting to get dark soon, but it's nice while it's here. So I've just torn off that edge, as I say. And this would be quite a deep pocket if I fold that here. So, um, you know, you can decide on your size of journal what's going to suit size wise where you're going to use these you you know you might be making these ahead so you might not know what journal they're going in or you might have a journal in mind when you're making them so you can just you know fiddle about with these and adjust the size now what you could also do if you wanted to make sure that your collar was central you could just make a little mark there and then you could we could even use your ruler, couldn't you, to tear down where you've made that mark. So then you know you're in the middle. Not straight, but in the middle. <laughs> where have we gone? There. So you could, and you could, um, you know, be a bit more accurate with your edges than I was on the last one to make sure that they do all, um, you know, they do sort of line up both sides ish. <laughs> so you can be as um, random or as exact as you want with making these. I'm going to ink the edges on this one because I want I want my um, I want it to be obvious where the edge of the collar is. So that will look like that. And then we can ink these edges to make it obvious that it's a pocket. Don't do that one, don't think I did this one. <clears throat> and then we can pop this down like before. Oh, I've just filled this up and it's a bit juicy. I need to go a bit, try and be a bit more sparing with the glue here. So I've had a bit of a um, hectic week this week. It's the first week that everything's been back to normal since Christmas and the new year. So I'm back to picking up my granddaughter from school. It's only once a week that I have to pick her up. I don't have to. That sounds like it's a chore, doesn't it? And it's not at all. It's a pleasure. Um, so we're back to that this week. So that's sort of um, at the back of my mind. Where's my glue mat? I don't know what I've done with my glue mat again. Have I shoved it under there? Yes. Um, 
so I did that this week and then um, in November just before my mum's birthday she was targeted by a scammer and um, she's had a horrible time she hasn't actually lost any money the banks were absolutely brilliant I've forgotten that I'd put glue on there um, the banks were absolutely brilliant and they realised what was happening straight away and stopped all the payments um, but PayPal are being very difficult um, you know PayPal who are supposed to be all for the safest way to transfer money blah de blah de blah will always protect you um, on the day that this was all happening they messaged my mum and said we are I'm just going to make a few of these and then we'll decorate them afterwards um, they said we're we've restricted your account because there has been a login from an unusual I'm wondering if I should stick this one together. I think it'll be all right. Um, there's been a login from an unusual address or something like that, some sort of unusual activity. This one I'm going to cut down just to have a different look. So I'm just going to cut to there. Um, and then when we realised... Um, my mum rung me and she said, I think I've been scammed um, I went round to her house and I was on the phone to Barclays Bank Barclay Card Tesco Bank and Nationwide Building Society for four hours talking to their fraud departments to get this sorted and I say they were really helpful they had realised straight away what was happening and they had stopped all the payments um, and then after we'd done all that, we messaged PayPal and said, yes, there was suspicious activity. These transactions are fraudulent. Please don't honour them. Um, and then once we had the details of the transactions, um, we, you know, went onto the account and, um, raised i can't remember what they call you know it's referring it to their resolution center and raised it as a an issue and said again gave all the details again and said please don't honor these payments they're fraudulent um and they refunded the amounts while they did their investigation and then they came back and said actually there was no unauthorized activity on your account so you need to pay us this money and it's nearly £900. And my mum's 80-year-old widow on her own, just on a pension. You know, that's a lot of money. It's a lot of money for anybody. So we appealed that decision again and gave them all the information. You know, said the these fraud departments at the banks are dealing with it. The reason the payment's not been honoured by the banks is because it's a fraudulent transaction and the banks have stopped the payments blah de blah de blah and PayPal basically said tough you've got to pass this money so even though they were suspicious on the day they were told later that day not to honour the payments they've made the payments anyway and now are trying to get the money back from my mum so over the last couple of months I have spent a lot of time dealing with different agencies you know been on to action fraud with the Met Police um we've finally now because PayPal got to their final decision after we'd appealed after we'd appealed their decision um they came back with their final response I'm just going to stick these two pages together because they're very thin um and their final response was the same you know no unauthorized activity pay us the money so they've now referred the matter to a debt collector so now my mum paypal have been harassing my mum they've literally been ringing her at eight o'clock every morning um frightening her 
even though they've I've asked them again and again not to telephone, make all contact in writing. Because my mum obviously now is frightened to answer the phone and well, she's in the right state. She's not even she doesn't even want to live on her own anymore. She's selling her house um, and moving in with my sister. So absolutely awful. And PayPal have been as unhelpful as they could have possibly have been. Um, if they get wind of this, they'll probably close my PayPal account. <laughs> um, so yeah, yesterday was a day to the police station so that we could give them all the additional evidence that we've had since we originally reported it to Action Fraud. Um, I mean, it's very, very unlikely that the scammers will get caught, but at least, you know, if they keep collating information, eventually they might be able to make a case. But um, it's not going to help my mum's situation at the moment with the debt collectors. So I'm now dealing with debt collectors as well, explaining to them what's happened and explained that you know, it's been referred to the Ombudsman and we're waiting to hear from them. Um, so, yeah, it's been... And even though she hasn't actually lost any money, it has affected her quite badly. And she feels silly and she's got no confidence. And obviously it's another thing to be dealing with. So, yeah, it's just just not a nice time but it will get sorted one way or the other and at the end of the day it's only money nobody was hurt um as i say she hasn't actually lost any money it's just whether she has to pay this money to paypal at the end of the day which i don't think she should because as i say they were aware they were suspicious of the transaction um they said they'd limited her account and then they paid the money out to these people anyway and paypal say if you don't receive the goods and services you've paid for they'll immediately refund you well my mum hasn't received any goods or services and one of these payments has gone to an electrical company in a different part of the country and it was paid using my mum's name but a completely different address in a completely different part of the country um So now I'm not saying apparently this company is a legitimate company because one of the banks um, that's investigating looked to see where that money had gone or whether, well, yeah, where it's gone. Um, and they said that is a legitimate company, but that doesn't mean that that company actually got the money because, you know, where fraud's concerned, maybe someone's accessed their account. Um, so... It's all very complicated and very distressing. So yesterday was, you know, just another thing to be done. But my mum did feel better after talking to a policeman yesterday. So at least that's one good thing. So, right, how many of these have I made? I've got one with the dictionary page, one with that, one with that. Have I done one of each? Yes, I have. So, I want to put some buttons on mine. Where's my box of buttons? Because then, you know, it's a little bit different to what Claire did and you can see how it looks done a bit differently. I mean, what you could also do with the buttons is you could put little buttons um, on the collar here, you know, on the point, so it looks like they're those button down collars I think that would look quite cute as well but I think you'd need to do that well if you stuck one down it'd be all right but if you wanted to sew them you'd have to um do it before you glued it but you could definitely stick them couldn't you right let's see what buttons we've got here sorry for the noise just tipping some out oh I'm sorry if I'm jogging the table as well um I have to keep moving out to get under my desk to where everything is and then I'm trying to shuffle in again so I'm close enough to work now that's that's not got a flat back so that's no good 
Oh, that's quite a big, bold one, isn't it? We could even have a bit of colour on these, couldn't we? To... And then you could decorate them even further when you know, you know, what journal you're going to be using them in. I don't have another one to match that by the looking. Oh, no, hang on, what's that one? Oh, these would be cute, but they've got um, shanks on the back, so they wouldn't lie flat. There's a little tiny one. What are the little coloured ones? Let's tip them out. This is just the jar that I had closest to me. I've got millions of other buttons elsewhere. I do like buttons. Put that one on there. I want, don't know whether I want a few buttons on here or if I just want a bigger one. I might put a few on this one. Looks and it looks like you know your buttons have fallen off and you've replaced them with odd buttons, which is fun. And you could have like a really big one as a brooch. Claire did a brooch, I believe, on one of hers. That's quite nice, big red bold button. Put that grey one on there, maybe. Just seeing what else I've got here. I might stick those down. So I think my art glitter glue will work for this. So I'm just going to put some on the back of the buttons, pop them down and leave them to dry. And as I say, then when I come to use these in the actual journal with whatever they're going to be paired up with, you know, journal cards or tags or what have you, um, I can decorate them further to match whatever I'm using them with or to blend with whatever I'm using them with. And then I'm going to have these three odd ones on this one because I can. On there. Oh, it's getting quite warm in here now. The sun's come out. One there. Might have to strip off in a minute. Oh, now this button is actually broken at the back, so it's not got a flat surface. So, oh, I'm not holding that under the camera, am I? So I need to swap that one out because it's um, it won't glue properly unless I get the hot glue gun out. And I can't be bothered to get the hot glue gun out, quite frankly. So there. Should I have that one? Is that too samey? Oh, listen to me. Too samey. Normally I'm all matchy-matchy. <laughs> What's happened to me? Mm, I don't know what I want there now. to just tip out the whole bucket of buttons but then we'll be here all day literally oh a nice pretty one here that looks like a lady's button i'm going to stick that one on so i show it to you it's like a pretty flower so pop some glue on the back there and pop Oops. There. A 
And then do I want to put some lace on these as well or not? Oh, I'll tell you what else I thought would be good. You could make a little tie, couldn't you? Um, like a pretend tie. Can't remember how to tie a tie now. A long time since I've had to do a tie for someone. I've just grabbed the nearest piece of ribbon. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. Very scruffy. <laughs> Very scruffy tie. Not quite what I had in mind, but I can't do it. But you know, if you if you did this properly and actually made a tie shape somehow, you could have a tie hanging down. I'm going to play with that, and maybe I won't do it on camera, but I'm going to play with that. Try and make one with a tie, but. You could definitely have a bow. Claire had a bow on one of hers. Um, but she, oh, she had a ready-made bow, I think. I can't see a ready-made bow on my desk at the moment. There probably is one, but I can't see one. This this ribbon might be too thick to tie a bow with that small piece. What have we got in here? So we want something that's going to show up. Um, that's too small. So if you've got, this is just a, piece, a tatty old piece of sari silk. So we could make a bow with this. What have I done? Of the right sort of size. And let's get another piece of paper. Let's pop these up here to dry. Pop them on my Cricut, which is next to me, and let them dry. Let's grab another piece of the sailing paper take a bit off the side again and let's how do we do we should we have another deep one and we can have the bow dangling down then and Claire didn't do all this. She was she's much more organic than I am. Um, when I just tear these randomly, I feel like it just looks like a mess. But Claire's look really good. <laughs> this probably could have done with being a bit deeper. Let's just fold it better. Let's just fold it better, Karen. These are quite fun. You could do all sorts of things with these, couldn't you? Make them look really different. Right, let's have a bit of glue along there. And a bit of glue along here. Yeah, so the first week we made the um, cover for this journal and I have been working on my cover um, now and then ever since. And I have to say, I'm really not happy with my cover. And I keep persevering with it 
thinking, is it just because it's not the sort of thing I would normally do or am I genuinely not happy with it? And I think I've decided today that I'm genuinely not happy with it. So I think I'm going to redo my cover at some point. Um, right, so I'm going to pop a little bit of glue here. And just put my messy bow on there. Just give that a chance to grab. I've lost my pin. There it is. And then we can, I'm not going to cut these off, oh dear, at the moment. I know they are too long, but depending where on a page I put this pocket, this might look nice. So that's what I'm doing. And then where I folded this wrong here, I might put something along there. Um, just to zhuzh it up a bit and hide that, but I don't know what. What have I got? I don't think I've got anything suitable in there. What have I got over here? I think that's a bit too big. Um, yeah, this is what I was looking at just now. I wanted to do something with this, but obviously it doesn't go with that bow. But because I've used this, or I had this out to use in this journal, it's in my box of things to use for this journal. Um, I was going to do something with that and then I forgot. I think this is probably too wide. Um, oh, I've got some narrow ribbon here. I wonder if that would blend in. Yeah, I might put some ribbon on there as well. So, if we tucked that under there and run it to there, so let's put a bit of glue on, then we can position the ribbon and then just chop off what we don't need. My glue is very, very runny today. So I've just filled my glue pot up. I'm just trying to get that on the edge of the pocket. And I'm going to cut that off there. And then I think I'm using the wrong side of the ribbon, but I like the lines, so I'm pretty sure it's meant to go around the other way with the lines at the back. But um, who cares? It's my journal. I can do what I want. I'm, yeah, I'm still there. And then we'll pop this one along here. off there oh look his collar his collar's very wonky isn't it <laughs> oh dear that just shows you what my folding's like doesn't it maybe i shouldn't go right to the edge see on that fold i folded to the edge and on this fold i haven't oh well let's just go with it let's just go with it pretend that we meant to do that so I think that looks a little bit different. It definitely edges the pocket. Um, again, I might, I might not be able to live with that. I might have to cut that off so that it looks a bit more um, in line. I can't be that random. It can be a bit random, but some things are just a step too far for me. And then I'm just looking to see if I've got anything else. Right, let's let that one dry. And then I've just seen in here some black lace. I wonder if that would look nice under the pocket. It's on my list of journals to make. 
this this paper's looking like it's my favourite for this particular type of pocket. Um, yeah, I've got. I'm intending at some point this year to make a black and white journal. I've been collecting bits and pieces. Oh, I didn't want. I didn't want to use one with a picture. Should have checked the back first. Um, right, if you do it that way, then. But then you'll see it when it's turned that way. Mm. Right, I'm going to leave that one. Yeah, I'm going to make a black and white journal at some point. So. I might make one of these with some black lace. But I think I'll leave that there for now because you've seen what we're doing. Um, I'm going to link Claire's video so that you can see how she made hers with the lace around the collar because it was lovely. But I really, all the time she was doing it and I was watching, I was thinking, I want to put buttons on one of those. So I like this one with the bow, apart from my odd thing here, but I think I'll chop that down a bit. I've got three buttons on that one, three random buttons, and then a couple more with just one button. So what do you think? I don't know how Claire comes up with all these ideas. It's brilliant. But there you go. There's our project for this week's Journal Monthly. Um, next one. Now, the next Journal Monthly, Claire's will be out on Friday. Um, I probably won't be able to film on the Friday and I've got my collaboration that I'm doing with Val's Crafts Creations uh, that's a bit of a mouthful my video for that is due to go up I think it's next weekend so my journal monthly video might be a bit late um, because my collaboration video has to go up on a particular day to work with the club with the collaboration <laughs> I can't get my words out today so um but anyway I'll be back in the meantime with something else for you to look at and um this as I say will be the next one of these will be out next hopefully next weekend but it might just edge into next week so thank you for watching I hope you're all happy safe and well and enjoying your own crafty time take care bye bye